Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, The Keys, me, and I am back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you this braidless crochet hairstyle. I've been gone for a minute with the braidless crochet, but I'm back with a really good one, y'all. I had somewhere to go. I needed some hair. Usually, I would get my hair online. I went to my local beauty supply store, and I walked down the aisle and saw some new hair by Lulu Tress. As you can see, they had a lot of different options to choose from, but I did go ahead and get the 2X Kinky uh, Curly Crochet Hair. This is going to mimic a 4B type of curls with natural hair. And what I love so much about this crochet hair is that it is pre-loop. As you saw, one pack comes with two. So I did just get two full packs and I used all of the hair. Now this is me showing you that this does come with the pre-loop. However, once you go ahead and separate the hair out of that loop section, the hair is so easy to separate. Like I'm telling you, this hair is just, it was flawless, flawless install. All right, so starting off with the base of this install, your girl is a part of Struggle Braiding University, okay? So there's going to be no braids in this tutorial. Have my hair going straight back. You want to make sure your hair is as flat as possible. And I'm going to be using a weaving net with this install. Now the weaving cap, it serves as extra security for your hair. That way you're not putting too much tension on your natural hair and you're just making sure in general that you have that extra security that you need. So the way that I'm gonna break this video down is I'm gonna show you exactly how I install the hair as well as do the invisible part method at the top. Around the perimeter of your hair, you do wanna make sure that you're not only sticking the latch hook through the net, but through your hair as possible. That's going to make sure that you're anchoring the actual cap on your head. So for this step around the perimeter, I did stick the latch hook through my hair as well as the net. And then I just tied it once. You could tie it twice. It's really just up to you. For the back, I did use bigger pieces of hair as you see. And then once I got towards the front, I did um, separate the hair a lot more. Me showing you the back, I'm gonna show you like exactly how I do my spacing in the back. You don't wanna put too much hair in the back. Majority of the hair you want to fall in the middle and towards the front of your head. So you'll see I'm gonna be using the windows in between each one of these pieces that I've already installed to get that full look back there. And this is one half of a pack that completed this full back side of my head. And so when you get to the top, you're just gonna keep doing the same thing, same method, stitch the latch hook through. Tie it once or tie it twice is really just up to you and what you would prefer. I prefer twice, but hey, you do you. And you'll see we're at the top now, but I did leave a little bit of spacing for the invisible part. I'm gonna go ahead and take the scissors and just cut down the cap where my parting area is. And you'll see as you cut and reveal your natural hair underneath, you're gonna have um, the excess cap around the perimeter of your head. And you can just take your scissors and just cut that off. Definitely make sure you are careful at this step. Go as slow as possible, okay? So now we're at the top, we're gonna start the invisible part. It's not too complicated, still the same method of sticking your latch hook through. You're gonna latch the crochet piece on the latch hook, and then you're gonna pull it through. However, this time, instead of using both sides of the hair, both strands of the hair, you're just gonna take one side of the strand and loop it through into a knot. 
you're gonna see it's gonna create that invisible not invisible part method i'm gonna show you over and over again exactly what i am doing so that you can get the gist of it because this to me is the most important part of the braidless crochet the foundation and the parting area is the most important everything else went fast and seamless until you get up to this part it's the most tedious part And yeah, as you can see, this is going to be the finished look. Y'all, I am in love with this style. I can't believe I was able to create a look like this in less than an hour and then for the cost of $15. Y'all, y'all saw in the beginning of the video that each pack was $6.49. So not even a full $15. Well, probably with tax, it probably was. But y'all, you cannot be a style like this. For these type of styles, I try to keep them in two weeks at max. Um, that's just what I would prefer. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this style. Are y'all gonna try it? Like, what y'all thinking, what y'all thinking? Your girl looks good, okay? I'm definitely feeling myself. But yeah, y'all already know how I do. I'm gonna leave all the information down in the description box below for you. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.